There is we want them to hear this. Let our people work. That's what we want to hear in Washington.
They will have been sent out. The administration said to us, the regular just come back. The regular just come back. Like, if you turn off and on a switch, they don't understand that they need enough for the age. They don't understand once these rigs drop, they're gone for years. We know at least there's two rigs are one in Africa. We know one rigs are going in negotiation. These rigs cost half a million dollars a day. They're not going to wait. And once they sign a multi-year contract, those jobs are gone for years. Yes, yes, sir. In Louisiana alone, we'll lose 20,000 jobs. Across the whole coast, tens of thousands of additional jobs. That's why they say so far. We need our voice to be heard. We need to understand if they hear nothing else from today. They need to hear us say this. Let us go back to work. We don't want to be teaching. We don't want an unemployment check. We want to go back to work. So often we get lost in this debate. This is not about me. It's not about, it's not about multinational companies. It's about the people of Louisiana. I'm going to share with you some stories of people who are being impacted by this war for today. This is not about the study or three. These are real lives, real jobs, people work on how to pay their bills. Let me start with Lori Davis. Lori Davis is our partner we call it the Great Family. Great Family is a family-owned chemical manufacturing distribution company. They serve the energy industry for three decades. There are small businesses, their deep water drilling clients account for over 70% of their business. Do hard work work and they're building better, they found out they got the security of their company. Then the more important point. Lori says she's all about forgotten clients for expansion and remodeling. I can't think about that. She said her employees include her family members. She's scared, she doesn't know what her life is. Initially, the company went to what they call hurricane. Thinking they'd be able to bounce back quickly like they'd done before during storms. But soon they realized that was the wrong time. She said, I'm like, well, when you know you're going to have to face, you know what you're having to face, you can fight those battles. You know what you're having to face, you can fight those battles. But now we're fighting the battle against the government, against the people that are supposed to help and protect us in difficult times. She said, they don't have any debt, they never been dependent on anybody else to support themselves. But due to the moratorium of the company's uncertainty, she has had to go to the bank to establish a line of credit to hopefully ensure the future will come. Lori says she will never forget the day she watched a bulk of the equipment coming in from offshore recently after they'd like to demobilize the credit. She said, I quote, it's a helpless feeling watching all that come back. And you know there is nothing you have done to cost us. Nothing you can do to change it, to keep talking about it, and help the people understand. Lori is here today. Lori, please stand up and have her picture up there. She has to give me a quick 